Hi guys. So I recently put a poll on my community tab asking for what video you guys would like to see. And by far the most highly requested video was a video on how to fill your sketchbook. So here are five ways to fill your sketchbook. I know filling your sketchbook can be very stressful and tedious with so many pages just waiting to be filled. So I hope in today's video, I will relieve some of that stress with five ways to fill your sketchbook. So the first idea is to do an Apple podcast page. I've seen a lot of people do this, especially on glass, but I just did it on my sketchbook. So basically, I w opened Apple Podcasts and saw how the layout was when trying to um, watch or listen to a podcast. And so I basically recreated that and I made a name of my own podcast. Um, and I just used a very generic, popular quote among so many artists called Happy Accidents by the one, the only, the Bob Ross. <laughs> and then for the cover which would usually be the cover of the podcast, I put, um, I just drew flowers. So it was really fun. I definitely recommend doing this. If you also do this for the first page of your sketchbook, then I really recommend putting, for example, what I did was I put the name of the podcast as sketchbook 15, episode one, and then below it, I put the date. So I started that sketchbook March 1st, I think. So I put March 31st, um, two, which would be the date that I finished it. Anyways, something else I recommend is using a certain color scheme. I decided to go with very um, calming colors that I like. So I use these purples, pinks, and green along with a skin tone. And I think the hardest part for me for some reason was actually the lettering. I wanted a kind of like wonky lettering style. But for some reason, it just wasn't working for me. That being said though, it was pretty easy to this page and I definitely recommend you to try this out. If you do, make sure you, um, if you have um, the ability to, you know, use the community page, then go ahead and tag me on your community page or you can just email it to me, whatever way. I would love to see how it turned out for you guys. It was honestly such a fun idea and I love doing it in my sketchbook. So the process that I did was basically I started off with my purple colorist pencil and I sketched everything out and then I colored everything without the fine liner and I actually used my Copic markers. Have a video on that coming soon. And then after I finished all of that, I went in with my Oho fine liner. This is actually the way I've been drawing recently, um, excluding the fine liner. I've just been using a color -based pencil than my markers. And I really, 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 really recommend color -based pencils. They're really great. Let me know if you guys would like to see the Copic um, video. I got five new packs of Copics. No, sorry, four new packs of Copics. And so I would love to share it with you. But yeah, that was the end of this page. I hope you guys liked it. So this next idea might seem really boring and not creative and you guys might be like, this isn't creative, I already know this idea, but I promise there is a twist to it. So it's to draw an eye, but the twist is, is to actually color it in not with the usual colors you would use. So usually you would use skin tones, blues, greens, browns. I'm talking though, pinks, purples, reds, stuff like that, whatever colors you like that are unusual. I actually really love how this turned out other than the eyelashes. Unfortunately, I lost most of the footage, but let me know what you guys think of it. I enjoy doing it so much. Idea number three is my most creative idea, and it's actually at first can be kind of confusing. So basically, idea number three is you're gonna get sticky notes or random pieces of paper, and you're going to do a Zane Tangle mandala type of design on it. Now here's the thing, I use mini ones so that this works best, but after I finished one sticky note, I got another sticky note and, and um, taped it to the top of the sticky note that I had already finished. Um, drawing and I basically uh, 
connected it and so if you see at the top of the sticky note i'm working on right now it has these lines and so with the sticky note that was on top of it as you're going to see right now i added lines and continued a design and then and i do the same thing with the pink sticky note i decided to change up the colors and use a pink sticky note and i basically did the same design that i did on the second orange one to the third sticky note so that it all connects and it actually looks really cool but we're not done here just yet after I do all of that, I kind of contemplated using more stick notes, but I decided with just the four. And I opened up my sketchbook, and I found two close colors to the ones that I already used. And I basically put it really cutely um, over here. Let me know what you guys think. This was so much fun and so creative. Due to storage, I also lost the footage for this one, but basically it was to time yourself for five minutes and try to draw as many outfits from the top as you can. It's a really great exercise, it's very creative, and it'll just fill up a sketchbook page that you just want to get rid of. So for the last final idea is we're just gonna be very simple and just do some creative scribbling but only use certain colors so i only used my pale pastels pack from copex and i actually really enjoyed doing this i felt like i could not worry about how it should look the page i'm worried more about having fun i guess and it was definitely very therapeutic i feel like a lot of times in our sketchbook we draw things that need to be perfect but not everything has to be perfect this is your sketchbook just let loose and so this was really fun for me and i know it'll be fun for you guys it'll probably just relax you a bit and i definitely really enjoy doing this i really really recommend it because it just lets you let loose and you even make designs that you might like in the future like that artsy z at the moment i really like it i end up pruning it right now by adding that black marker but i actually really like how it looked and the page itself is kind of very hectic but honestly it was a lot of fun and i felt like i could just disconnect from the world and all the expectations and how i should be drawing and just draw something simple like this i think using a certain color scheme can also give you color combinations that look really good that you never really knew about like the yellow with the purple i love how they overlapped and just stuff simple like that i actually really recommend this and it's really, really fun to do. Let me know if you guys do it and make sure you don't worry about looking good, more about having fun and relaxing. All right, as a recap, the first idea was to do an Apple podcast page. The second idea was to color an eye with very unique colors that wouldn't usually be found in a human eye. The third idea was to do a Zentangle puzzle design with sticky notes. The third idea was to try to make as many outfits as possible in just five minutes. And the third and final idea was just to do some therapeutic scribbling. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know if you guys enjoyed this video. Please subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!